Lineage of Evil. This video is brought to you by the Spider Combat Arena. Support the Kickstarter today. Oh my goodness. So I came across this trailer of Good Times on Netflix and they show the trailer I've watched and I'm like, okay, this is simple. This is trash. This is unadulterated trash. It's a bunch of, you know, just black stereotypes. The typical, hey, they dumb, ugly, and slow. That's pretty much the trailer in a nutshell, okay? There is no positive influence or no positive image of black people in this trailer, in this show. Honestly, that's emblematic on a bigger, larger, global scale. Because when you look at the positive imaging of black people, it's almost nowhere to be found. When you have a lot of these shows, it, it, it falls right in line with the narrative. If you have been promoted as dumb, ugly, slow, and a bunch of criminals, then it's not a surprise when you have a bunch of shows that are <laughs> displaying you in such a fashion. And that's really, if you look at it, where the racism comes into play. Because you have to understand, racism is a group effort. Now, I know I'm, I'm detouring a little bit, but, but allow me. Racism is a group effort. And one of the things that you can employ in your arsenal of, of keeping racism where it is, and racism obviously being anti-black racism, poisoning the well uh, of the image of black people. They did this in the White House, you know, with Birth of a Nation, they, they keep on doing that. They have been very consistent and persistent in poisoning the image of black people. Now, the racism comes into play, well, if these group of people are a bunch of criminals, as Fox News, as Newsmax, as shown on Twitter and all these other places, all these influences, well then, naturally, we've got to do something about it. So when you have, you know, an affirmative action, when you have a reparations movement, when you have anything that benefits these group of people, you're obviously gonna have some pushback by the masses who already view you as criminals. They view you as the problem. So anything other than leave the country or incarceration, they're not gonna find that as a solution because some of them think, it, think it's an eight. You have to understand, they think that you're just born that way. So you have to really take a step back and see where uh, you know, a Netflix show like Good Times fits into everywhere. And I, I, I digress, but I, I just wanted to put that out there. So why is this the case? Why is this happening? It's very simple. Why did, why did this get greenlit, right? What, what on God's green earth, what room did people go and see this and be like, I like it. This is a good show. We got to put this out here. Absolutely. Give them a raise. You have to understand where that mindset comes from, that lineage of evil, okay? Because that, that's the only type of mindset that would put this out here. I don't even put two and two together. I'm like, good times. All right, whatever. I then later discover, and I kid you not, that this is a spinoff or a ripoff or whatever it is, a bastardization of the original show of good times. You know, show Dynamite, right? Where you had the family, right? The nuclear family and everything. They, these people are evil. These people are wicked. Do you think there would be some, some, some anger do you think there would be uproar if, let's say, I take, I don't know, a uh, house on the prairie? Let's say I take house on the prairie and I put this nice little white family and I make them a whole bunch of trailer trash. How about that? Would you, do you think there would be some uproar? What happened if I took, I don't know, what's a show that they like? I, I, I don't know, Days of Our Lives or something. I, I, I don't know. One of the shows that, 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 that are, are a, a, a linchpin into what they view as, you know, white society or white people or they want as a representative. Say I take one of their shows and I completely bastardize it, okay? I say the family's a bunch of poor, just, you know, trailer trash individuals, you know, just goofy, nonsense, ignorant, all that. Do you not think that they would lose their minds? Do you not think they would be protesting? Hmm? Don't you think so? But here we have this show and you have black faces who are voicing this show. And that's the problem in and of itself. Everyone who got this script should have been like, I'm not doing it. This should have never made its way into TV. It should have never made its way onto Netflix because they should not have been able to find anyone, much less someone of the original cast, to voice this trash, to voice this filth, to voice this bastardization, and once again, a marring of the image that we have yet, we have yet, to, to clean. 
We have yet to cleanse. We have yet to take ownership of our own image because you have this lineage of evil who is constantly putting out filth like this. They have this lineage of evil who's constantly putting out filth in the form of music, in the form of entertainment. That's what they are doing. And no other group is facing this. No other group. None. I don't think this is good. No, I don't approve of anyone watching this show. I think this show should be canceled before it even airs. As a matter of fact, I don't even think it should air. To be honest with you, I 100% believe as far as in a protest. Because listen, we're not gonna be watching this anyway. You, I hope you understand, they're not, they didn't put this show out for us, okay? They didn't put this out for black Americans because they know black Americans don't behave this way. They don't behave this way, all right? They put this out for, for them. That's what they put this out for. They put this out there for means of propaganda because the people who already think that you act this way would watch and get reinforced as far as their bias. That's what would happen. Oh, look at them. They so dumb. He he ha ha. It's not made for us. That's what you have to understand. So no, this is disgusting. There should be some type of protest somewhere. If we can't get them as far as uh, the viewership, then we should get them as far as our voice being some, some type of outcry. Letters being sent in to, to, to corporate. Cancellations of memberships. Whatever needs to happen. And there should be all you allies, white, Asian, whoever y'all are, Puerto Rican, okay? Y'all should do the same damn thing. Because if you feel that this is not a correct portrayal, or even an accurate portrayal, or even if you don't even want to go accurate, if this is not what you want for black Americans, if you, if you don't want this image to be promoted to black Americans, then you should do the same damn thing. Because this is racism. This is anti-black racism, and this is precisely what I'm talking about. This is disgusting. This is, that's all this is. This is absolutely disgusting. And I looked into who created this, who are the executive producers. One of them is, I forgot her name, Shar Sharad or something like that, and the other one was Seth MacFarlane. Now, I'm thinking to myself, what the hell does Seth MacFarlane know anything about good times? So if I had to blame someone, I would definitely blame Seth MacFarlane, 100%, because it seems that he knows, and many of them in Hollywood, only know black people through stereotypes. They only know them through the bias and the prejudice that they have in their hearts, or that they've been told, or that they, their, their limited exposure has, has you know, allowed them to, to see. And it, 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 this, can't, this can't go without any type of punishment. This is exactly what I'm talking about, repercussions. That's what needs to happen. They need to understand that this level of disrespect shall not go unpunished, whether it's financially, spiritually, however, Okay, metaphorically, I don't care, but they need to understand this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe, look, 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 just calm down, okay? It's just a cartoon. You're getting your blood pressure up for nothing. Chill, all right? Or if you have believe, you know what? They constantly saying that, and they're constantly bastardizing our image. And I don't know, I'm sick and tired of people judging me when I'm walking to the street or when I'm walking to the store off of what they saw on TV. Then we're the only group of people that they do that for. And the crazy part is, we're the only group of people whose image has been maligned in such a light. We're the only group of people. Everyone else ha has the freedom to have full emotions, right? Have a full range of emotions. You have a full range of emotions, you're the angry black man, you're the angry black woman, right? You, you say, hey, that's not fair, you're a victim. Oh, always a victim. They have managed to pigeonhole us to being pretty much robots. That's what they have managed to do, and they haven't done that to any other group. So you can miss me with that nonsense. Anyways, if you happen to disagree, you're more than welcome to call in during disagreement days. We're typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. You call in, we duke it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Am I off or, you know, or am I right on target with this, this foolishness? Uh, share and subscribe, and oh, ugh, that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing. Black Americans don't behave this way.